Mrs. Strong and Super Shenanigans of the Bionic Brain, Captain Marvelous. friends, this month for Summer Blast, we're going to learn about superheroes from the Bible. 
Each of the people we are going to learn about did amazing things because of their faith in God. And the great thing is that you and I can be superheroes of faith too. The first person we're gonna learn about this week is a woman named Deborah. And her superpower was strength. I don't know if you know this, but there are two kinds of strength. The first one is the kind of strength right here. If I wanted to get stronger, I would have to work out and build my muscles. And then over time, I could lift heavier and heavier objects. The other kind of strength is the kind you can't see. It's internal strength. This is the kind of strength you need to make the right choices, like not hitting your brother when he annoys you, or the kind of strength you need to obey your parents when they tell you to do something. This is also the kind of strength you need to do what's right, even if it's hard, like going against what your friends want to do because you know it's wrong, or being strong enough to stand up for what's true, even if people might make fun of you. That's really hard. Deborah had this kind of strength, the internal kind. Who knows what kind of person wears this outfit? If you said a judge, you're right. Deborah probably didn't wear this kind of robe back in the old times. God made her a judge of the Israelite people in the Bible. The Israelites have been making the wrong decisions. Let's read in Judges 4 about what happened. And I'm going to be reading from the International Children's Bible. After Ehud died, the people of Israel again did what the Lord said was wrong. So he, God, let Jabin, a king of Canaan, defeat Israel. Jabin ruled the city of Hazar. Sisera was the commander of Jabin's army. Verse 3, he had 900 iron chariots and was very cruel to the people of Israel for 20 years. So they cried to the Lord for help. So God let a mean ruler take over the people of Israel because they weren't obeying God. And this mean ruler was very powerful and very mean to them for 20 years. The people wanted God to save them. Let's keep reading and see what God did. Verse four, there was a prophetess named Deborah. A prophet or prophetess is someone that God speaks to and they deliver the message of God to the people. She was the wife of Labadoth. She was judge of Israel at the time. Deborah would sit under the palm tree of Deborah. The people of Israel would come to her to settle their arguments. So Deborah must have been pretty strong for God to choose her to be the judge of Israel. God knew that she would do what was right, even if it was hard. The story continues. Verse 6, Deborah sent a message to a man named Barak. Deborah said to Barak, the Lord, the God of Israel commands you, go and gather 10,000 men, lead them to Mount Tabor. I will make Sisera, the commander of Jabin's army, come to you. Sisera, his chariots and his army will meet you at the Kishon River. I will help you to defeat Sisera there. Then Barak said to Deborah, I will go if you go with me. But if you will not go with me, I won't go. Of course I will go with you, Deborah answered. But you will not get credit for the victory. The Lord will let a woman defeat Sisera. So depending on the faith she had in the Lord and strength to do what was right, she went with Barak and he gathered 10,000 men and they went down to the Mount of Tabor. They attacked Sisera and his men. And during the battle, the Lord confused Sisera and his army and their chariots, and they defeated Sisera's army. And in verse 23, it says, On that day, God defeated Jabin, king of Canaan, in the sight of Israel. Deborah knew what God had asked her to do, and she had the strength to do it. Remember before when I said that if I worked out and built my muscles over time, I could become stronger and stronger? Well, the same thing happens when we work out our faith muscles. When we trust in the Lord, 
over and over and see that he is faithful, we can do bigger and bigger things for his glory. So just like Deborah, let's be strong in the Lord and listen to his word and obey him when he asks us to step out in faith and do something hard. You and I might even defeat a big army of bad guys. Remember kids, as a hero, we vow to show strength through character, bravery against all odds, and remain committed to our paths in times of hardship. Hey everyone, so for today's elective, we are going to be doing performing arts. Now, before we start, I want you to remember two things about performing arts. The first one is that performing arts is, well, a performance. So I want you to make sure your smile stay big and you have a lot of fun. The second thing I want to remind you of is that a lot of times when we do performances for church, it's with worship music. Now, God doesn't care if we do our moves perfectly. He cares if we're having fun and if we're worshiping him and doing it for his glory. So make sure that you keep that in mind when you're learning today. Now, today we're going to be learning a song called Jesus is my superhero. Seems fitting, right? I'm going to teach you the moves and you are gonna do them at home. And then once we're done learning them, we'll do it all together in the whole song. The first thing that we need to learn is a jump clap. It's really easy, just like it sounds. First, you're gonna jump, and then you're gonna clap. Try it with me, ready? Jump, clap. Simple. We're gonna start with a jump clap. Once the words start, you're gonna take your left hand. The very first thing it says is he's the one who makes the sun shine. You're going to take your left hand and sweep it all the way up and around. Then it says he's the one who put the moon in the sky. You're going to take your right hand and do the exact same thing. Sweep it all the way around. Now, the next time it says he's the one, you're going to point up left, right, and it says he's the one who hung the stars. And when it says hung the stars, you're just going to go like this. Then it says one by one. You're going to take your left hand and do a number one, and you're going to put it out like this, and then do the same thing with your right. You want to try it all together? He's the one who makes the sun shine. He's the one who hung the moon in the sky. He's the one who hung the stars. One by one. Great job. Now we're going to go back to our jump clap while we're waiting for our second verse. Once the second verse starts, it starts with, he's the one who makes the birds sing. And you're gonna repeat just like you did in the first verse. He's the one who makes the birds sing. He's the one who makes the stream so high. He's the one, now this is where it changes. It says, who makes me smile. You're gonna point to your smile. And when it says day by day, you're just gonna tilt your head. Day by day. You got it? Let's try it all together. He is the one who makes the birds sing. He's the one who makes me dream so high. He's the one who makes me smile day by day. Great job. Now we're going to move on to what's called the chorus. The chorus is the main part of the song, but it's not so hard. You'll learn it really quickly. Ready? you're gonna go back to our jump clap. It says, Jesus is my superhero. So you're gonna jump clap and jump clap again. And then you're gonna do a superhero pose like this. And then you're gonna do a superhero pose like this. So it goes, Jesus, you're my superhero. Got it? Now you're gonna sing, it says, you're my star, my best friend. So you're gonna go, you're my star, my best friend. Like you're going back to back with somebody. Then it says, Jesus, you're my superhero again. And guess what? We're going to do almost the same thing. So you're going to start with the jump clap. Jesus, you're my, but we're going to do two different superhero poses this time. First, I need you to show me how strong you are. After that, you're going to punch sideways. So it goes, Jesus, you're my superhero. 
Then for your my star, you're going to sweep your left hand over your my star and then point to yourself. My best friend. Got it? Now the last thing that we need to learn is called our bridge. Our bridge usually comes to the middle or the end of a song. Now when we do the bridge, it has a bunch of yeah, 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 yeah. So the first set of yeahs, I want you to do this. We're going to spin around this way and then clap. Ready? Perfect. Now you're going to go back the other way. Now the first thing, after it says yeah, it's going to say he's better than Spider-Man. Now Spider-Man shoots webs from his hands. So we're going to go like this. Spider-Man. Now, for the second set of yeahs, we're going to do what's called a grapevine. It seems like it might be a little difficult, but I'm sure you'll catch on. You're going to step out, back, and out. And then you'll kick your foot out. Then you're going to go this way. Out, back, out, and kick your foot out. One more time this way. Out, back, out, and kick your foot out. Now, the second superhero that it says that he's better than is Superman. Now, Superman a lot of times flies, so we're going to do our Superman pose like this. So it looks like we're flying up into the sky. Better than Superman. Now, for the third set of yes, you're going to go back to your turn and clap. Now, the last superhero it talks about is that Jesus is better than Batman. So when we say Batman, we're going to go bat man. And then finally, we're going to go back to our grapevine. Out, back, out, kick. Out, back, out, kick. And then we're going to turn in a circle with our hands open like this because it says Jesus is better than anyone. And then we go back to the chorus. You've learned the whole dance. Are you ready to do the whole thing together with the music? Let's try it. you guys. I know you had so much fun learning and dancing to that song. Now, even though this is the only time we're going to do performing arts during Summer Blast, I want to give you an encouragement. When you perform, not every performance has to be on a big stage, but sometimes it's great just to have fun and worship the Lord. So every week when we do worship, I want to make sure you keep your big performance smile and you keep having a good time. 
Have an awesome week, you guys. Whoa, what a great lesson. Mrs. Strong is right. Our strength comes from the Lord. We need to trust in Him, not in our own strength, <laughs> which is good, because I can't climb a rope. <laughs> but come on, guys. Let's go put into practice what she taught us. Let's go trust in the Lord. Oh, closet. <laughs> Doors this way. <laughs>